If you're looking to get out of the house for some family time, we know just the place to enjoy a full day of fun. Fairytale Town is adding some new activities to their lineup, and Executive Director Kevin Smith Fagan is going to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show, Kevin. Hi, Aubrey. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, new activities for the family. I'm excited. A lot of people, they do want to get out. So what is Fairytale Town adding to your lineup over there to keep everyone entertained? So first off, a lot of people I'm finding don't realize the Fairytale Town is open every day right now. And it is COVID safe, lots of precautions so you can feel comfortable coming to the park. Um, it is, as you mentioned, it's a period where there are so many opportunities for families uh, have been lost, right? Youth sports are gone, lots of playgrounds and parks or things are closed. So Fairytale Town has added uh, soccer, golf, and soccer frisbee, a special weekend evening events. So you can come out. I've got a soccer ball here donated by our good friends over at the team, the Sac Republic. We've got the frisbees. We're ready for you to come on out and enjoy some good, wholesome family fun at Fairytale Town. So who are these activities going to be good for? The young kids can obviously, they can get into it. We just looked at some video. Yeah, I mean, one of the nice things about it is that it sort of suits all ages. Um, the park, as you know, is a beautiful grounds and it's got the, the iconic play sets all around. And we just turned them into the, you know, holes for what is... <laughs> Uh, sort of like a miniature golf experience, but at Fairytale Town. And so, you know, Frisbees can be a little bit tougher to control for young kids. So they might choose to go with the soccer ball instead, but the mom and dad might want to do Frisbee or the older kids. Um, back to your point, it's really suitable for uh, people of all ages to come and have fun. It's outdoors and safe, and it's just happy. I like it. It's kind of like a course and you're going to make your way through. But yeah, those Frisbees, you got to watch out. Um, I would probably stick with the soccer ball myself. So these activities, um, can you keep distant and, and distant socially and, and all those uh, city and statewide rules? Are you in compliance? Yes, so we are. So first off, uh, everything's outdoors, which is obviously a key safety measure. Second off, uh, masks are required for everybody. Three and up face coverings, I should say. They don't need to be masks. Uh, they just need to be face coverings. Um, we do make sure that no parties who come to play the Frisbee golf or soccer golf intermingle. So you're with your own bubble. So your unit plays around Fairytale Town having a good time, but knowing that you're socially distanced from the other parties and therefore you can be confident that you're safe. Oh my goodness, that looks like a lot of fun. Have you guys been able to do your summer camps? I know that's a big feature over there at Fairytale Town. We have. Uh, it, fortunately, we have the big advantage of being an outdoor space, and we have made lots of changes. There are hand sanitizers everywhere. As I mentioned, face coverings are required for everyone three and up. But with camps, Aubrey, when you um, set a group that doesn't in intermingle, so 10 is the max. And so in the summer camp groups, there's 10 children, and they stay together all week long socially distanced, wearing masks, but doing the fun activities and getting to be at Fairytale Town. So we have been able to successfully operate those and we've learned a lot about how to be successful and be COVID safe at the same time over the course of the summer. And Fairytale Town, people may not know because they think we just go there to play, but you guys have different educational programs. Um, we do actually, of course, with the barnyard animals, there are goats and sheep and pigs and a donkey and a cow and reptiles. So there is a, a whole dimension of um, animal and natural world learning that goes on. There are early literacy programs. We have a drama and theater program. Um, so there are classroom visits programs. So yes, even beyond visiting the park, there are lots of things that Fairytale Town is doing because really what we want, uh, our goal here is to help young children strengthen their imaginations and their creativity. And so we do that in lots of ways. So summer definitely has not been canceled over there at Fairytale Town. I'm so glad to hear that you guys continue to be able to find ways to offer things, especially during this time. If someone wants to go down and just enjoy it for fun, do they need to make a reservation? Actually, yes. One of the changes that we did make uh, to increase the safety level during the pandemic is reserving online. So you go to fairytaletown.org to book your reservation 
that's how we control the attendance at the park. We can cap attendance so that there's never any threat of overcrowding. And it also makes the transaction completely touchless so that it's even safer for the guests and also for the staff. All right, very good. Thank you for providing all this information. I'm gonna have to go get my soccer frisbee, soccer golf on one of the other. I'll head on over to Fairytale Town and you can make your reservation at fairytaletown.org.